Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sunday reset routine. We are going to be cooking a fire meal, okay? A really, really good meal. We're doing some pantry organization today, doing a little bit of decluttering with the fridge, and just our main focus is the pantry, kitchen, and living room for this video. We're of course gonna do a grocery haul. I'm gonna tell you guys all about the stuff that I got for this week. We're also going to be doing some everyday cleaning and getting into some deep cleaning as well. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks that I use to help keep the house clean and products that make my life a little bit easier. Starting with today's sponsor, which is Greenworks. Thank you to Greenworks for sponsoring today's video. As a busy mom of two toddlers and a newborn, I'm always looking for cleaning tools that can make my life a little bit easier. And with a variety of messes like spills, crumbs, hair, and dust, I need a vacuum that can do it all. Greenworks Stick Vac is a three-in-one cordless vacuum that comes with an extra battery, a charging stand, and attachment pieces. This stick vac works great on all surfaces like carpet, hardwood, and stairs and it has a fast charge time of only 30 minutes. Plus, with 48% more suction than more expensive market leaders, it quickly picks up life's messes. So your chores feel, well, not like chores, and you can get back to doing the things that you love. To get your cordless Greenworks stick bag, click the link in my description box. And thank you again to Greenworks for sponsoring that portion of today's video. Okay, so getting back to the start of the video, we are gonna go ahead and do a little grocery haul. I had two separate orders this week, one from Walmart and then one you guys will see in a little bit from Kroger. But I asked y'all last week, did you want me to talk more in the videos? And everybody say yes, for the most part. So we're gonna do a little grocery haul. So I got some Swiffer dusters, which we'll get into later. I got Hawaiian rolls, the kids love those. I got some artisan bread for like toast and sandwiches. I'm trying out this new turkey by Natural Choice. I also got black and chicken seasoning from the brand Satarans. We got some tortillas, some more Swiffer wet jet things. And then these pastas from the Zataran brands is the only reason why I went to Walmart, okay? Because you can only get them there and they are so good. I got the shrimp Alfredo and the black and chicken Alfredo. My kids obsessed with these. It's an easy, quick meal when you're not in a mood to cook, okay? And then y'all saw I also got some aloe vera gel and then I also got a real aloe vera leaf just to keep on deck. I like to use it for my skincare, hair care, just different things like that. So I went ahead and picked that up this week. And then we're gonna go ahead and put everything away, but also organize the fridge and clean it out. Um, I had a couple things in there that was like expired, okay? I needed to go through it and just kind of like deep clean the fridge and get rid of some stuff. So that's what we're about to do. After I clean out the fridge, I'm just gonna go ahead and unload the dishwasher so I can start on a clean slate today and then any dirty dishes that I make, I can just immediately put them in the dishwasher, which helps for there to be less of a mess in the kitchen throughout the day.
for cleaning the baby bottles what i like to do is just open them all up um, shake them out with some water i'm guilty of not cleaning out the bottles as soon as they're done which would not recommend i literally huh, this is the worst part about the newborn phase is cleaning bottles <laughs> but um I just shake them out with some water and then I pour soap into all of them and then I'm just going to go ahead and brush them out. And then I also do run them through the dishwasher just for like a sanitation and extra sanitation process. Y'all know I love my Kroger delivery orders. So I got water. I always like to get a gallon water so I can stay stocked up for Mellow's formula. I got apple juice. I love the Mott's brand. I got some pickled relish tuna, which is not for me. I do not eat any of that. Okay, but Erin's mom's been helping me out in the morning. So I asked her if, I, if she wanted me to pick anything up that like she could snack on. She likes tuna and relish, so that's what I got. I think I also got a banana. And I got these pretzel crisps. These are the everything but the bagel seasoning ones. I never tried those, so I wanted to pick those up. We got some coconut water for the kids. They love this mixed berry flavor one from Creative Roots. We also got some banana peppers. And then I think I had already said I had got a banana. I love these cinnamon Eggo waffles. Super quick and easy for the kids in the morning. Also, these Red Baron pizzas are like a great snack. The kids like to eat those after they come home from football practice. So I got those in the cheese flavor. I got Texas toast. Um, I got some broccoli, rice, and cheese because I was struggling with figuring out how to implement veggies into the kids' lunches because I make fresh veggies at dinner, but I don't always want to do that at lunch. So I just got the steam bagged steam bags for lunch. I also got romaine lettuce, shredded lettuce, strawberries, asparagus, avocados, and apples. So I like to like switch out my fruits every like week or so. So I'll like rotate grapes, strawberries, apples, oranges, and stuff like that so that the fruit doesn't go bad if I buy it all at one time, if that makes sense. Um, I also got this Panera bread. I did not know that Panera sold their bread in store. So I'll try that out, see what it's hitting for. I'll let y'all know. Um, I got some buffalo chicken strips. Okay, and then I got some more of the broccoli and cheese rice. I got some shredded chicken. Would 1010 recommend this? The Tyson um, like pre-made shredded chicken. You can do so many things with that. I'll make the kids like quick quesadillas, throw some like Taco Bell sauce or seasoning in there, and it's so good. So got that. I also got some tomatoes, red onion, but I also got these chicken biscuit crackers. Dad eats those. So now that the fridge is cleaned out, I could just go ahead and put everything away. So that's what I'm going to start doing here. Um, I talked about it briefly in one of my other videos, but if you guys didn't hear me, basically all the repackaging that I used to do, or is it called repackaging? Y'all know what I mean when you put all your drinks into like glass containers, stuff like that. I'm not doing that anymore. I've accepted that while in the newborn phase, there are certain things that I just do not have 
time or the luxury to do so a way that i keep my fridge looking cute and organized is basically i started like putting everything that's the same color together so like my drink shelf i do it in rainbow so you know red orange yellow green is it green blue or blue green Roy G. Biff. <laughs> i need to go back to school oh my god but anyways i'll just do my shelf like rainbow um with whatever drinks that i have because i feel like that makes it look nice and then if you guys can kind of tell the fridge is not really that stocked up um even though i did get groceries i didn't get a lot because i just felt like the last couple weeks I have, everything's just been kind of like going to waste and i don't want to be wasteful so i just bought exactly what i knew that i was going to need for the week anything else i decide i want to do i'll just pick up or do a target drive up order um, but I'll do like my red stuff up at the top of the corner and then kind of like yellow and then we have like a green section and a blue section in there. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like when it was fully stocked if you didn't watch last week's vlog. But I feel like that still looks nice and I don't have to worry about cleaning, spending the time cleaning out the containers, repouring it, refilling it and all that stuff. And then for my freezer, you guys couldn't really see, this wasn't a good angle, so I ended up turning the camera off, but I separated all the food by category. So I put all the breakfast food together and then like the pre-made frozen meals and then like frozen meats in different sections of the freezer and like desserts on one side because it's just easier to see everything that I have because when I was cleaning it out earlier, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know like all this stuff was in the bottom of here. So. That's how I'm kind of like keeping my freezer organized. So every Sunday or on the weekend, I'm trying to find like one thing that I can do to kind of like help me stay in the motion of getting the house organized if you guys don't know we just moved and i kind of started some projects here and there didn't finish them so the pantry is one of those things so today i was like okay let me just kind of organize it i'm not gonna completely do the pantry like yet like make it over or like finish organizing it but i kind of wanted to see like what all i still needed to get and what foods i had in there so i don't like rebuy it because i had like rebought granola like five times and croutons so anyways yeah today i just kind of like cleaned it out and this is what i did um i basically refilled any of the glass jars with uh the foods sorted those out and i put everything that was kind of like organized to one side of the pantry and then everything else i put on the other side and sorted through by category so i put all the cans together i put the sauces together if i had two of the same item i put those together and then i was able to go in and put um like and then i kind of repeated that process um with all of the bins
Okay, so now that all of the groceries are put away and the pantry is restocked, we are going to go ahead and get into cleaning the living room. So I told you guys in last week's video, I kind of want to start focusing on certain areas of the house, paying a little bit more attention to those on the Sundays and kind of like rotating that out as I my cleaning schedule i don't really have a set schedule yet but we're getting somewhere okay <laughs> um so i'm just gonna start by vacuuming up the living room And since we're doing this little deep cleaning of the living room, I decided to pick up a Swiffer, which I guess I'll talk about right now. But basically, I have tried every single thing for cleaning the floors, of cedar mops, the Tinco vacuum mop, the Shark vacuum mop, um, like a, a the other type of Swiffer mop. Like I've literally tried everything and I just feel like it's like maintaining the floors is something that's so hard to keep clean. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know. I've watched a ton of TikToks, but I just feel like 
nothing really gets up all the dirt okay because i'm literally like one of those people when i'm off the floor i will like go back behind it with like a wet or damp paper towel to see if it's actually really clean and it don't be really clean okay like you gotta go over like so many times but anyways today i got the swiffer because i want to try it out using the disposable pads as opposed to all these reusable things that i've been using just to see if that gets it more clean um but i did that later um in the evening right now i'm just going to basically dust off the walls with the swiffer so i got the um dusting pad I just put that on the swiffer and then i went around the walls and just kind of dusted them off and followed that along on the baseboards as well Okay, and then I'm also going to show you guys how I keep my white couch clean with toddlers today. Okay, so obviously we have a few rules in the house. There is no eating on a couch, okay? Unless you are um, mom or dad, okay? <laughs> um but even then i don't really eat anything too messy on the couch but i just don't really let the kids eat on the couch and that pretty much helps me avoid stains and stuff like that so basically this is how i maintain the couch um i'm on like this like rotating schedule so basically week one you start with clean couch and then week two we're gonna flip the cushions to the other side um, and then I'll also spot treat if there's any like little stains or whatever, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But yeah, and then once the second week is over, we're going to take all the covers off the cushions, actually run them through the wash and then put them back on and then just kind of repeat the cycle. And then in between those weeks, I like to vacuum in between the couches. So today that's what we're going to do. And then for cleaning any stains or little spill spots that do happen through the week, I use the Folex spray. You can get this off Amazon. It is literally magic, okay? I don't know what that was. It was on a couch. Who knows? But it came right on out. And if you guys can tell when I spray this couch, it kind of already is that material that's like liquid resistant. So everything kind of like beads and rolls off the couch anyways. Um, and yeah, this is the Thomasville sectional from Costco. If you guys are interested, it's supposed to be kind of like a cloud couch dupe. I honestly love it. It's modular. We can move it like all like all around. It fits our family perfectly with room for the kids to grow. I've only had it for a couple months though, so I don't know what the longevity of the couch is like or anything like that. But so far, I really like it. It's comfortable. We all cuddle up and watch movies on there pretty often, so... I would recommend, especially for the price. By this time of the day, it's the afternoon at this point, okay? 
and I'm going to go ahead and start cooking dinner because I knew I was going to make a dinner that was going to take a little bit longer than normal. So I just went ahead and started cooking it now. So basically, we are going to be making loaded baked potatoes with pot roast, broccoli, and cornbread. And let me tell y'all, this is one of my favorite meals I've cooked in a long time. It hits so different so i'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through everything that i did so basically i washed the potatoes and then i stabbed them with a fork i don't know that's what they say you're supposed to do right so then i went ahead and just covered them in some olive oil and i'm just gonna go ahead and like massage it all in before i sprinkle it with a little bit of salt And then I'm going to go ahead and place them in the oven on 450 and they do need to bake probably for about a cool like hour if you really want them to be really soft. So again, that's why I started dinner early. I'm just going to go ahead and prep the sides and stuff as well. We're going to go ahead and make our broccoli. So I used about a half a stick of butter. I like to use fresh broccoli. This one was already like washed and stuff from the store. It's just in a bag. But anyways, I cook it with the half a stick of butter and then I'm going to season it with garlic salt and regular salt. For my cornbread, I'm using the Jiffy's mix. I'm also going to melt like a fourth stick of butter just to kind of like zazz it up a little bit. I am the queen of using like box or pre-made things and then just putting like my own spin on it. So I also add sugar to the cornbread mix because by itself it's just not sweet enough and then I follow the rest of the directions which is add an egg and then I think like a fourth cup of milk and we're just gonna go ahead and whisk it all together and then of course we can't forget to set the vibe um i love the fall time you guys i'm so 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 excited i'm lighting up my little um ghost um little lights that i got from crate and barrel and my candle and then just gonna go ahead and make myself a little drink before we get into the rest of the cooking you guys did watch my last video you heard me talk about like i'm more into the mocktails these days than the actual cocktails just because getting through the like cold cooking experience in the night, I can't really be drinking because I'm just too lightweight. I just, I can't do it, okay? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm just less productive when I drink, but I still want something nice to sip on. So I made like a little Shirley Temple. Anyways, moving on to this pot roast. So I'm going to season my pot roast with all the basic seasonings, which would be salt, pepper, garlic salt, onion, powder, um and then paprika cayenne pepper all that stuff i'm gonna add on there as well a tip that i like to do though is i season one side of my meat like out of the pan and then i'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to the pan on that side to start cooking first and then i'm going to season the other side while it's in the pan that way those seasonings kind of get into like the juices at the bottom because um i didn't use it for roast but like if you're making chicken and you want to use it for like gravy it's already kind of a little bit seasoned if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i do and then for our i don't know what you would call this but you got to add beef broth to pot roast to make it basically so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the beef broth into this little bowl and then i'm gonna mix in the roast seasoning and then some brown gravy the gravy y'all is what takes it to the next level this is my first time trying this i saw a girl on tiktok do it and i was like oh yeah i bet that's gonna be good so then after that i just poured the extra juices from the pan over the roast and then put in my mixture and then i'm gonna go ahead and dice up my onion and put a couple pieces of onion and minced garlic in there just for some flavor
put the roast in the oven you cook the roast if you're gonna do it in the oven you want to cook it on like a low temperature like 325 350 for a couple hours to get it really nice and tender the oven is honestly not the best way to cook the roast i would say crock pot or even like a pressure cooker like an instapot it turns out better but the oven is what i have access to right now i don't have a crock pot or a pressure cooker the potatoes were done so i just go ahead and take those out so, and then we're basically just going to scrape out the insides of the potato and place them into a bowl and i didn't show you guys this i guess i forgot to film it but basically what i put in my potato mixture for loaded baked potatoes is sour cream milk a ton of butter like i mean a ton of butter probably like a whole stick of butter if not more and then i season it with garlic salt garlic powder a little bit of onion powder and some pepper um just to taste and i'm just gonna like mash it up mix it all up um did i say cheese i also put shredded cheese in there but yeah it's so good you guys oh i just love 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 it so just go ahead and mix that all up and then i'll reload the potatoes afterwards um but everything is pretty much done now we're just waiting on the roast to come out of the oven so of course what are we gonna do while we're waiting we're going to clean up okay so that we don't have this huge mess in the kitchen so i'm just gonna do the dishes really fast Okay, and now the roast is done. The kitchen is cleaned up, which I kind of was like, girl, why'd you clean the counters off? Because they're going to be messy. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make our plate. So we did a side of broccoli. I had the potato skins. and I'm going to reload it with the potato mixture that we made. Oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. And then my cornbread. I overcooked the cornbread a little bit. I'm not going to lie to y'all i had forgot and left it in there a little bit long so it looks crumbly but look at the roast you guys oh my god i, I put it over my potato to make the potato like loaded okay it was so damn good um but that's it for today's video the main focus for today was just cleaning and then i cooked like this meal took a while so by the end of this i was exhausted i just ended up taking a bath doing my normal skincare and getting ready to go to bed so if you guys enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another one.